All right, and then let's do start W. Boom. Hey everyone, I'm Wesley. In this video, I'm gonna to try to compile and run the DWL bar. So I'm here in my virtual machine. I'm running currently uh, DWL in Wayland, but I don't have the DWL bar running yet. I have already cloned the DWL bar repo. I'm gonna CD into that directory. I'm gonna see if I can make it. All right, it looks like it created an executable for me, so I'll run DWL bar. And nothing seems to be showing up. Figure out what exactly is going on here. Is there a debug main.c? Uh, where is main? Ah, there we go. H and V. Looks like there's only help and version. Let me go to another window and open up a browser. What browser do I have? Um, cute. Oh, I have cute browser. Perfect. I believe I already have all of these. Configuration is done through config.def.h. It's compatible with the sum blocks. You may want the IPC patch. All right. Did I already apply this patch, this IPC patch? I don't remember. Is this the patch? Yeah, IPC v2 patch. No, I don't think I got this patch. I think I got the other one. Let me download it then. So let me grab this patch. Um, uh, let's curl. All right, so we have IPC v2 patch. Hey, there we go. And then make again. There we go. Yeah. DWL bar. Uh oh. Segmentation, segmentation fault. Panic. Wayland compositor did not export ZDWL IPC manager v2. Oh, I think we need the IPC patch for DWL as well. So let me grab the DWL IPC patch. All right, we'll use this guy. Let's grab the URL. Let me go to DWL. And I will curl that. Downloaded it. Let me do uh, main IPC v2. There we go. Make. Got an executable. Do a sudo make install so that we can run it from our login. Oh, from our login prompt. What? Oh, there. Okay, so now that's working. Let's get out of DWL and then back in. So I'm going to now clear and then DWL again. All right. Uh, let me readjust the display. Let's do 10, uh, no, 1920 by 1080. Apply. All right. So let's get back to our DWL bar directory and see if we can run it. Hey, there we go. It's working. Okay. So we have the bar, and I can even click on it because we got the IPC patch. That was something I probably should have gone into detail about, but didn't. Um, what the IPC patch gives you is what allows you to interact with the user interface, uh, the GUI interface, by clicking on it. Otherwise, we would start the bar and you couldn't do anything. But you need the IPC patch for both DWL and DWL bar. The, those are two separate patches for the two separate uh, repositories in order to make uh, the interactivity uh, working. It looks like you can't change tiling modes by clicking on it, which you can in DWM. But this is pretty good. I'm going to create a startup script. I'm not going to call it startx because that would be silly, but I'm going to call it start w for Wayland, uh, and start, yeah, start W, and I'm gonna, let's see, then SH, I'm gonna have this run DWL, actually, let me do a sudo make install. If you can't tell, I'm doing this on the fly. I didn't run through this particular video before I recorded it. As the startup command for DWL, let me go back to DWL, 
I think the documentation here shows how to start DWL with a uh, startup command, like foot, for example. So I'm gonna have it run this. Let me put this over here. Uh, so it's it'll be DWL-S, and we're gonna run DWL bar. Uh, actually, this is what we'll do. We'll run DWL bar up here, and then we'll exec DWL bar. So I'm figuring out as it go as I go along. DWL bar, and then we'll execute DWL. I guess we don't need to run. Well, let's let's go ahead and run the foot server. Let's just try it out. The way the documentation says, server dash. Okay. So now I have a start w command, and I'm going to move that to user local bin. And then I'm going to make it executable. Now I should be able to run start w uh, after logging in. Let me try it. Start w. Boom, and I think I'm in DWL now. Yep, there we are. All right, I need to adjust the display. What I need to do is have this automatically set the resolution that I want uh, on startup so I don't have to come in here and set it in W displays every time. Oh wait, it didn't start DWL. I just realized that. So, the script didn't work. Start W. All right, uh, why didn't it work? Let's put DWL bar inside of here and run it. Let's run it and run the foot server. All right, let's try that. All right, and then let's do start W. Boom. And the foot server should be started as well. Let's open it. Let's go 10, 1920 by 1080. I really need to set that permanently. Looks great. Now let me go to cute browser. And on the DWL page, let's see how you, actually I guess that would be the W displays page. So give me a minute, I'm gonna stop the recording and I'm gonna look up how to do that and I'll start the recording back up again. So it turns out there are a few ways you can do this. Uh, one way is by using this tool called Canshi, and I think you can set up a configuration file. But I thought, I'm not going to do that. Uh, we are minimalists here. <laughs> we can write a script to do this. Uh, and as it turns out, there's another tool besides W Displays that you can use to configure your displays called w WLR Rander, kind of like X Rander. Uh, so let me show you what I did with that. So the first thing that I did was I created user local bin. Uh, I edited the start w command. And instead of running all of those commands within the uh, dash s parameter of the dwl executable, I changed that for the dwl dash startup script, which is another script that is in my user local bin directory. In that script, I added this line. Uh, which calls WLR render and sets my uh, display mode to 1920 by 1080 uh, before executing DWL bar and the foot server. So now when I exit my uh, exit uh, the Wayland and run start W, it puts me back in at the proper display resolution. Real quick, one thing I wanted to mention about DWL and DWL bar, I am not actually running that on my uh, machine, I'm still running X. Uh, and the reason is uh, when I start DWL on my physical machine, uh, I get weird uh, flickering on my external display. Uh, it's an LG display. I don't know if there's like drivers or something that are not you know supported or something with Wayland, but it, it doesn't work on my laptop. Uh, so I'm still using X on my laptop. Uh, the video that I just showed you was me using DWL 
in, in a virtual machine. We'll see you next time. Bye.